Uh, good morning, day if I here and welcome. My computer, like, just absolutely crashed. I think my audio drivers just failed, so Audacity stopped recording, OBS couldn't record sound and crashed, my start menu wasn't working. Oh boy, it was great. I don't know how much of the episode is lost. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume none or maybe only a minute's worth. Uh, I hope not everything's messed up, but I'm not going to record an entirely new 46 minute episode. Just because of the crash, I was going to send them on another date, but I hooked those two up, so Algernon and uh, what's his face are a thing. Let me remove my phone from the picture here, just in case. Well, we only have VIPs to deal with now. I guess that's the curse of your game crashing. Oh, but it seems like my audio drivers are working now because the subwoofer's working, and by the subwoofer's working, I mean the audio plays through my headphone and my speakers. Oh, I hate this computer sometimes. It's two years old. Almost three. It might be about time to get a new one, maybe a less expensive one, oh my gosh. Trevor Sidley, an angel investor and a Libra looking for a woman he's interested in funky home furnishings, visiting graveyards, and celebrity gossip. He lives for hazel eyes and ginger hair, he's relaxed, methodical, introvert, traditional, and romantic. His bad habit is going on about the weather and his uh, guilty pleasure is herbaceous borders. I don't even know what that means. The good news is the Java update notification that I wasn't going to wait for popped up while I was searching for someone so you guys don't need to hear it. Isn't that great? And the other good news is Maggie Weinhauser is a two-star personal trainer and a Virgo, they don't really line up horoscopically, but three ticks of attraction and she likes boy band, celebrity scandal, and going to the gym. They're like the only decent match so I'm just going to hope that they work out real good. I don't think I'm ever going to understand this computer, it's uh, I'm not sure if it's an Asus thing or a Windows thing, but the drivers that the Asus comes with don't seem to work very well. I need to think long and hard about what kind of computer I'd want. It's on your food radar, something hot with red meat. Okay, because sometimes I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe I should just actually get like a decent Linux machine. And, um, I mean, it, it, it's almost doable since I'm almost done with college and I'll have my desktop back, or I could get a new desktop that would be Windows and just get a uh, Linux laptop. And by that I mean get a laptop, wipe it, and, uh, you know, have fun. Maybe do like an Arch install. I've always wanted to attempt an Arch install. But uh, it sounds like a lot more work than I have time for sometimes. Which gadget would you rather have? The potato peeler, the latest smartphone? Oh, I thought he was modern. I was like, oh my gosh, she said potato peeler, but she didn't. Um, we don't want the clouds over him, and that will happen if he gets the X. So let's just try and lie. It's going to work out, so that's all good. Uh, that's all right. That's all good. Wait, smartphone for sure. We're all technoed up. Yeah, you know it. She's going to pop to the bog real quick. She's got diamond earrings, ginger wavy hair, and then a white jacket on top of a blue shirt and maybe some slight subtle makeup. I'm never good with the makeup. Well, pff, she doesn't have ginger hair anymore. I, I mean, I don't know why she went and did that. Now he's not as attracted to her. Like, that's a darn shame. <laughs> oh, well. Her loss. Oh man, I really hope my funny story didn't get cut off too badly. It might have... I don't feel like retelling it. <laughs> I think it lasted long enough. We got through like two or three dates, which should leave us right around 11 minutes, which was where it died. Gosh, what a frustrating thing. When cleaning the house, do you clean thoroughly or just do the obvious bits? Oh, of course, just the obvious bits. With uh, one lie, I would have said I'd take him on a second date. With two, I'm like, nah, we should probably find someone else. Maybe, since he has the perfect personality, that Steam friend will show up. But at this point, I'm just like, not expecting that at all. Oh, and we, at least we get the chef on a medium restaurant, not a hard one. 
It had a texture of creamy loveliness, it had an awe-inspiring overtone of celestial imaginings, it was engorgingly satisfying, it had an indescribably delicious underbelly, it had a hint of manifest genius, it had a visionary and playful moistness. Over the moon to hear that, yeah, I know a couple big words. Her bed's calling her- oops, I don't normally skip that, but whatever. Hey, actually, mm, mm, you don't have any good matches, and I'm still just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is like actually a difficult decision for me. No, he doesn't seem like he has any good matches. So let's just uh, set these two up expecting failure, because I feel like I'd get failure no matter what. Alright, let's kick it back to the easy since we had to pretty much restart our game, which means phew, totally got out of the rhythm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, William Underlock, a one-star pizza delivery driver and a tourist looking for a woman, he's well into goth music, going to the aquarium and mind reading, and he lives for hazel eyes and dark brown hair. Relaxed, methodical, introvert, experimental, and spicy, his bad habit is arguing over nothing, and his guilty pleasure is hula hooping. Bit of an edgy type. Alright, if you say so. The game thought it would be funny to overwrite the only other person who we didn't know anything about, so I need to set him up, you know, with someone we kinda know about. That might not be bad, it might not be good though. Uh, Caroli Finkelhart is a two-star headshot manager, and she's a cancer. They'll have two ticks of attraction, and she's pretty edgy. She likes open world video games, playing electric guitar, and visiting wildlife sanctuaries. Oh gosh, golly, excuse me, I'm sorry. And they are two for three so far, and we don't know anything else about her. If they get three or four out of three, I'll set them up. <laughs> or three or four out of five, not out of three. Super happy fun times as we come back to the Rainbow Roadhouse. He's totally bricking it. All right, if you say so. Caroli and William. Yeah, yeah, green eyes, great. Red hair, fantastic. And we have a black hair, spiky mullet man. And what do we want? Something hot with no meat and nothing too weird. Okay, easy doo doo. Uh, two of those, please, because that sounds amazing. I'm not really into the pumpkin porridge thing, nor the pumpkin spice thing. I don't really do the whole pumpkin thing. It's just not that good. Okay, so we have nothing to really... Let's just do interest, then. I hear you're totally into uh, playing the electric guitar. That's incredibles! We like goth music. That sounds well good, doesn't it? Yeah, I totally live for it. Gothic music is beautiful, I must say, when it's done well. If it's done stereotypically, it's kind of like, meh, not really exciting. Uh, when watching TV, would you rather do aerobics to a fitness video or slob on the sofa? Aerobics to a fitness video, huh, I see. They're one and two stars, let's just tell her slob on the sofa, yeah. You had a rock concert the other night, okay, let's see if we can find you in your black and white Sweater with your light brown hair and your super makeup. There's another guy in a black and white. It's not even a sweater, it's a shirt. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't mind me. Sitting right in back. Yeah, that's usually the seats that I buy too. They're the cheapest. I understand. I understand. Okay, please do better than a 2 out of 5 though, because a 2 out of 5 would make me sad. Or will we never know? Oh dear, we're never gonna know. Uh, I'm a clean shaven face? Don't do nothing for me. Your tropical makeup? Oh, it's alright, I guess. Yeah, we should call it a night. And we need Levi, our uh, jeans representative here. I guess we'll never know what they are like. Yeah, might still just set them up. <laughs> yeah, you think they're absolutely gorgeous? Sure, how about using me? No need to ask twice. This is fine. <laughs> Hilda should be fun. Hilda should be very good. Hilda bad good. <laughs> I can't handle it. That name is fantastic. She's a two-star scaffolder and a Sagittarius. Born on oh, my best friend's birthday. Fantastic. Looking for anything. Her interests include being in charge, eating tiny portions. I thought that said eating grass, but it says art glass, which is better. And she loves hazel eyes and white hair. She's relaxed, methodical, extrovert, traditional, and romantic. Bad habit is being overly sentimental, and her guilty pleasure is RTS games. All right. These two have to be a match. Priscilla Deepwood, a three-star new media guru, also a Sagittarius, three ticks of attraction, and old masters paintings, avant-garde fashion, and arty ceramics makes her arty type as well. I don't see any way this can go wrong. 
The types line up, the looks line up, we just gotta hope that the personality lines up and they'll be a great match, Priscilla and Hilda. The names even sound like old-timey in and of themselves. Yeah, very good. Dark brown hair, great stuff. Now we have dark brown uh, bushy mustache here with the curly back. Eh, curly back kind of like mine, well, when it's a little bit longer. I'm not sure how it's doing right now. Something cold with no meat, like Kachumber. Of course it's always going to be Kachumber. <laughs> This is the best dish name. It's just so much fun to say. Okay, let's uh, let's, let's get some of this stuff going. When we go into the movies, do you prefer factual-based storylines or fantasy-based movies? Okay, factual-based storylines. Good. One for one. We're doing very well right off the bat. Yeah, we are. You know it. Right. Spin this. And now let's do tradition. Maybe she likes avant-garde art. So. I'm not sure if you can like that and be traditional, we'll find out. Games, board game or video games? Yeah, video games. I'm not sure if it's like an actual requirement, like that's checked within the game, but it kind of makes sense. Like, nah, she likes avant-garde art, and avant-garde art is literally an answer to a question where you answer it modernly, then uh, she's probably, she's probably, uh, probably modern. Oh man, that's gonna end on the 30 so perfectly. Great stuff. I love making 5 coins, but what's even better is making 30 coins. Too bad I don't get that option. Okay, she has hazel eyes and uh, the hair that poofs out, swoops out at the end, kind of like mine. Electrical supply has been cut. Let's call her back. Hello? Hello, Priscilla. Come back, please. Yep. Hello. The electricity has been restored, and we are super happy that we found her again. Okay. And one more topic. Hmm, blue? Oh, we already did blue. Green, then? Let's do green. At New Year's Eve, would you rather stay at home and read a book or spend it with friends and family? Oh, stay at home and read a book. One for three. These these were supposed to be the best couple that I had, and now I'm kind of like, yikes. I don't really want them to see each other anymore. Because, uh, well, in case you haven't been watching, they're not doing so hot. Oh, please end on the green. It's not going to, but I really, really want it to. Darn it. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Stay home and read a book, of course. Of course we're lying. You're, 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 you're lying. We're gonna take a selfie now. She's super excited right off the bat. That's the way to do it. Good job, you two. Fantastic photo. So happy. That's, what an amazed selfie. That's defo going up on my wall. I hate people who actually talk like that. I, I, I do it sarcastically, which is, uh, you know, maybe equally as bad. Okay, we did get a second date, though, so that's always good, but, uh, mm, probably shouldn't see each other again. So let's try Leonardo Harborn, the one-star cleaner and a cancer. They don't line up there, and they only have two ticks of attraction, but he does like oil painting and pottery classes, so they are both arty types, and that's good. And some wonderful German sausages on the menu now. Mm, that sounds really good. Ah, Leonardo, Hilda, those those both sound like painter names. Like Leonardo especially, because of, you know, this one guy. Maybe you've heard of him, Da Vinci, of course. De Devo, uh, Gon Gonvo, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Something hot with no meat and nothing fried. Okay, well, I mean... I guess you can do that, but I really wanted sausage, like I always do. Sausage should just... That sounds weird. It's like sausage should just always be going into my mouth, but let's not do that. Uh, sleep or bed spring? Sleep. Okay, very good, of course. We are a couple of old romantics. However, this is how my last date turned out, and it didn't end up so good. Uh, we ended up, uh, you know, agreeing to a second date, but we're probably never going to take a second date. Uh, given a choice of car, would you prefer a discreet family saloon or a flashy supercar? Of course a flashy supercar. It's so great to be sociable. Ah, the manager. Kelsey. And this is Leonardo. I was uh, right near that house being a Leonardo house. I guess I wasn't that close to it, but I kind of was. We're at 28,000 coins even. And that's just a nice thing to say. I'm going to pay to get tradition because I feel like pachinko is coming up right after this. Oh, they don't line up there. Yikes, put cash under your mattress. 
Okay, it was not it. Oh, oh, it is Pachinko. Look at, look at me. I know how, I know, I know how the game is played. I've put 95 hours into this game and know kind of what I'm doing sometimes, and I still can't win at Pachinko. Pretty sure everyone, like, went into hers except for two, but hey, it's the two that count. Perhaps we should go Dutch. Yeah, I'm just gonna set these two up. Yeah, let's just do it. I'm tired. Deci making good decisions is not gonna happen right now. <laughs> Finally, we are going to have Junior Cheese Garden. <laughs> That's, uh, that's where I prefer to send my kids. I don't like sending them to kindergarten. I prefer Junior Cheese Garden. It, you get more for your money. He's a three-star opera singer and another Sagittarius. In fact, born on the same date as the last person who we just set our client up with. Our client was born on the 12th date, I believe, was born on the 14th. He's well into oil painting, growing vegetables, and studying ley lines, and he lives for hazel eyes and blonde hair. He's active, carefree, expert, experimental, and romantic. His bad habit is telling jokes, and his guilty pleasure is social networking. What a hippie. Holly Apolovich will be an interesting attempt. She's a three-star ballet dancer and a Scorpio. They will have three ticks of attraction, but they don't really line up on, uh, interests. But we'll see. We'll see how that plays out in personality. Matching blonde hair is the name of the game as our client shows up ready for a good time. Are you Holly? Yeah, you must be Junior. So fab to me. You got here bang on time, of course. We did very swanky place. Nice blue eyes, blonde hair, blonde hair, fantastic. We have Glam Girl. Oh, you don't see her very much. We want something hot with white meat. Like uh, teriyaki, of course. Two teriyaki, if you don't mind. Always. Always good. I almost got teriyaki at the uh, dining hall today, but I just, I didn't. I, pr I wanted to get chicken stew and cereal because that's how, that's just the best way to do it. So never let them on the sofa or sleep in bed. Of course sleep in bed. That's like literally what animals are for. I know a family who like doesn't ever let their dog leave the living room. And I'm just like, yikes. I mean, I guess it's better than keeping him somewhere else, but... Partner's keen to take up ballroom dancing to get stuck in. I should have done social. Farting's got to be coming up. Or tell them they're having a laugh. Oh, get stuck in. Very nice. Well, oh, okay. No, we're going to do the uh, Jumbotron one. Okay, I can do that. Red shirt, green jacket. And, oh my gosh, there's so many people. But there she is. She was right by the bonus money, and she was so excited to see me. He's like, oh my god, he found me. We did it. <laughs> And what are we going to talk about? Spiciness. Going out for the evening, would you rather go to a poetry reading to a burlesque show? Oh, burlesque show? Hmm. I'm going to try and lie. But I won't enjoy it because lying is tough because you need to remember your lie. You can't just tell the truth. Don't flip, don't flip. I thought we had it. We were super close, but not close enough. This one looks like it'll be good, though. 15 coins. You know what? It's not the 30, but 15 will do just peachy fine. Go to a burlesque show for sure. Yep. And uh, what tip do we give him? 15%. 261 is 10. 130 is 5. So 392, roughly, right around there. Nailed it. We are a little brainy, if I do say so myself. Ha ha ha, give me that cat for some extra money. And yeah, they are quite a hottie. How about you two get, just, 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 just get set up, you two. Just go sit in the hot tub and be happy. All right, well, hey, we have four letters, one of which is good news. I didn't realize we did so many people. Uh, William Underlock, okay, Caroli and I are still an item. We got our own pad together. We both really love goth music. We're so happy I can easily live with their love of train spotting. The best part is I was completely honest with her from the get go. I'm letting everyone know how amazed well as you are. See ya, William and Karali. Okay, so that's one good news. Uh, how about Trevor? No, Maggie and me are no longer an item. I just didn't really like them and they didn't really like me. So, you know, they weren't like totally boring. I quite like her, her taste in celebrity scandal and they like celebrity gossip as well, but we just couldn't see eye to eye on her shocking taste for talking while eating. Did tell them maybe a couple of white lies, but I didn't want to upset her. We were like opposites. Now I know opposites don't attract. Well, that contradicts everything that I just said earlier in this episode. That's a shame. Ryan, yep, see me and Algernon, 
these are the ones who it crashed on. This one was kind of like, I wasn't thrilled with setting them up, but I was like, eh, I'm just going to do it so that I can exit out of the game a lot quicker. And uh, I suppose his texting all the time was alright, and in fairness, they did like me handmade knickknacks, but I just had enough of him going on about model trains all the blinking time. It was never going to work, but at least he was honest about it. I don't know why I agreed to go out with him. We was all wrong from the start. You agreed because I told you to agree. Never forget that. And Edwina Wagaway. Oh, okay, at least we got a marriage. I would like babies, though. Russell and I are still together and we got married. We both really enjoy entrepreneurs and we're so compatible that I can easily live with his obsession with Shakespeare plays. And the best thing is, completely honest with him, we're so happy with the way it's worked out when they name our first child Kitty, even if it's a boy. And they sent me a little something to say thanks. You really shouldn't have, but for real. Always send me things, please. Ooh, a single red rose. Very nice. So I'm going to stop this episode here. It's probably going to come out a little bit shorter than normal by like maybe a minute or two. But that's because it's going to take me so much longer while editing. Just because, you know, hey, it had to go in blow-ups. That's great fun. Anyways, I think it's about time for me to head to bed right now. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on Kitty Powers Matchmaker, a quest for all the achievements, goodbye.